Hey, I'm Wyatt Tourette with Yesterday's Why. I wrote the song Must Have Been an Angel with Jason Mraz. Must have been an angel watching over me, pulling me out of the dark, bringing me redemption, setting me free, seeing that my soul would never be so, seeing that my heart could never get broken. Must have been an angel watching, must have been an angel. I heard somebody say one time, they were ta- referring to somebody else, and they were like, yeah, he was swimming in women. And I quickly wrote that down. It's like it belongs in a song somewhere. And um, so I'd written the first verse and melody, a different melody, a very country melody. When I uh, when I brought, I'd brought it to the band first, and we had written like a handful of lines, and it just didn't feel right to me kind of thing. So I just stripped it all away and brought Jason exactly what I had to begin with. I was like, where would you go with this? And mine was like a quicker cadence, and it was like kind of really country. Um, and again, I'm so lucky, man. Again, one of the most talented human beings I've ever been around. One of the most underrated singers I've ever been around, Jason Mraz. But again, could just play everything. I, got, I was lucky to be able to go out to his farm and uh, out in uh, out California and spend a few days in the studio and wrote a bunch of songs. Aiming for who? Aiming for Zach and probably aiming for him, too. That was the first one we wrote. And immediately he started playing that lick that you hear in the beginning that do, 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 and immediately changed the entire feel of the song. And it was just like, oh, there you are. Lost in a bottle, swimming in women, making up a new definition of sinning. Got a little too good and some really bad living. I was running wild. That's what it's supposed to be, kind of thing. And we spent, that song took about eight hours. We spent the whole night writing it. Um, because we knew, again, we knew we kind of had something, you know. And that one almost made the Jason's. Um, when it didn't, we quickly snatched it up. But, <laughs> you know, he was the guy who came up with the melody and, and must have been an angel part, too, you know, and just kind of gave it a whole new life, made it feel more like a Paul Simonish kind of song going on. It had a lot of air in it and gave room for the drums to move. And, exactly what the song should have sounded like and it, it just a great dude and so fun to work with and inspiring and but again it went back to the same thing like just patience man could sit there for hours i mean we sat there for 14 hours the first night the sun was coming up and we were still working on one song and just building the track for it and making sure it was exactly right and that's how he was with every song and also you just with that you can just see the sheer love in it you know what I mean? And after all these years of him doing it, it was still exactly that way, which was really cool to see. It just makes you, you know, guys that you admire going, okay, he's working that damn hard. I better make sure I'm working that hard to get it right too, you know, which was really cool. And just a sweetheart of a guy too, man. You know, I, I loved what the way it was arranged, and it still is arranged the way Jason somewhat arranged it with the starts and the stops and the way that, you know, the big harmony lifts and stuff like that. Um, that's what makes it fun to me, man, is it showcases – the one thing about our Levi and our Levi and I's voices go really well together, and it shows it shows off his musical prowess as well as our voices. And it, it's one of those songs that makes us sound more like a duo than anything else because of the way we change out lyrics and we, we change out verse, you know, melody and chorus uh, harmony and stuff like that. So, to me, just the dynamics of that song, and I think that what kind of grabs people's ear, and to me. The melody is the most is important to get get their attention and is the vehicle to the lyric and I think that song does it really well. And him and I are just so familiar with each other's cat uh, catalogs kind of thing that we knew Seven Oceans was going to be a yesterday's wine thing. But then we started digging through songs and there was a couple. That, most of an angel was at the top of the list, but we were waiting on to see if Jason was going to do it. So I finally reached out and asked Jason, and he wasn't. So that's kind of how that one came in, and that's kind of what we've done with our cattle is looking through each other's catalogs first going because we both that's one of the reasons we did it was we both have hundreds of songs that may never see the light of day so why not just give them the light of day with yesterday's wine um so that's kind of how that's kind of how a few of them got picked was just through looking through going what feels like yesterday's wine since we've had time to write towards yesterday's wine with a handful of songs box of darkness i wait but the other ones were kind of pulling going if we were going to sound like something, this would be the kind of thing. And then making sure Levi resonated with the lyric of this song's weird because he was going to be singing. Our idea was to be a duo, so he'd be singing these songs too. So they got to be his truth somewhat as well. 
Um, and then, like he always does, he just what he brought to the table, you know, on the album with the, with the mandolin and the fiddle and stuff was just awesome. Um, the first verse was kind of like, you know, doing things that you probably shouldn't be doing to yourself, you know, beating yourself up, staying up too late, that kind of stuff. And by the end of that verse, he's kind of saying, you know, it's a pretty thing when you, when you find a way out of it. And uh, in the silly way, you know, it's kind of, you know, those nights, those mornings you wake up and you're looking for your wallet and all kinds of stuff going, hell the hell am I, thank God I'm still here, you know, kind of thing, that silly stuff when you were young, doing dumb things. And then also... That angel can be a person, somebody pulling you out of that, out of that junk. You know what I mean? Or just kind of the realization that you, when you finally have those thoughts of like, maybe I shouldn't be this crazy and wild and all that stuff. Um, so to me, it's referring to either the literal sense of God and an angel watching over you, or you know, you finding somebody worth being a better person for. Me out of the dark, bringing me redemption, setting me free. Seeing that my soul would never be so Seeing that my heart can never get broken Must have been an angel Watching must have been an angel Seeing that my heart can never get broken Must have been an angel Maybe I should stop and thank the Lord For sending me an angel